Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is he cheated. The scripture comes from Proverbs 28. The wicked man flees, although no one pursues him. But the just man, like a lion, feels sure of himself. If a land is rebellious, its princes will be many. But with a prudent man, it knows security. A rich man who oppresses the poor is like a devastating rain that leaves no, flu no food. Those who abandon the law praise the wicked man, but those who keep the law war against him. Evil men understand nothing of justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. Better a poor man who walks in his integrity than he who is crooked in the ways and rich, in his ways and rich. But he who keeps the law is a wise son, but the glutton's companion disgraces his father. He who increases his wealth by interest and overcharge gathers it for him who is kind to the poor. So here's the message, y'all. Here's the message, y'all. Here's the message, y'all. Baby, God is reminding me of a message that I released. And ironically, right after I released that message, I also released another message about somebody uh, putting forth effort, a group of people putting forth effort to bully somebody because of the message. And it came true, okay? I, I like, it came true. And, you know, um, the message was, Someone trying to pressure a woman into staying in a marriage, into staying in a relationship, although her spouse has cheated and refuses to stop cheating, has like it refuses to stop or is abusive and refuses to stop being abusive. However, this message is he cheated. And we already know that God says it, the only way divorce, he authorizes divorce is if somebody has cheated and committed adultery, they have broken the blood covenant that they made not only between themselves and their spouse, but also with God. And y'all will not understand how many men or want to go in the comment section and complain, women should not preach the word of God. Women should not preach. Oh, so you want somebody to be biased is what you're saying. You want somebody to uh, sit up here and tell women, no, it's okay if he cheated, you should still stay. And no, God will punish you if you leave. And God will, no, God says clearly several times in the Bible, there are several scriptures that say that if the covenant is broken, the marriage is broken. If the covenant is broken, the marriage is broken. Those who abandon the law praise the wicked man, but those who keep the law war against him. And I like, I've already stated that I'm not like, ain't nobody, you, you're not finna come in my comment section and bully me. Like, period. I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. When I come on this channel and I post, this is, these are messages God gave me. And just like God ain't finna argue with you, I'm not going to argue with you. And I like I am li I'm a servant of God. I am a vessel. So when I say I'm not about like I, I, I'm not, I'm just not. I don't have time. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I like my peace too much. I'm not about to sit and argue with people all day long. I refuse. And God said what he said, and he meant what he said. He said it years ago before all of us that are walking this earth were even walking this earth, that he feel how he feel. And if one person decides to step out on their marriage and commit adultery, which is a sin, okay, that means that, that, that the covenant between that husband and wife has been broken. And if the other person does not want to get back with them, if the other person feels like they good on that, that is their choice. Because God also states, even if the husband and wife have been separated from each other and one party decides that they want to commit adultery while they are separated, how is it fair that the, part, the other party will have to go and, and sleep with them and they have been defiled? They defiled themselves. That's their business. I'm not about to come on here and preach against the word of God. 
And if you cheated, you cheated. You know, you 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 ain't got to go in the comment section and act like you just about to stretch yourself out and you falling out on the floor and pulling your hair out because the audacity that God called a woman. God been calling women. I'm not the first one. I'm not even going to come on here and act like I'm just the only woman that God ever called and I'm the first one. And nah, let's be real. Let's be real because God called Deborah. And God called uh several other people that's in this Bible. And I'm I'm just I'm I'm just not I'm just not I'm 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 not about to argue with anybody. Period. Evil men understand nothing of justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. And I like that. I just feel like that's the conclusion of this video. Someone that has wicked ways, someone that has evil in their heart, someone that wants to seek, they want to seek to do evil. No, they are not going to have any understanding of God's laws. No, they are not going to respect God's laws. No, they are not going to respect someone that God called. And it's like, if Jesus Christ himself was not given the amount of respect that he needed, who are we to feel as though we are above that and we are just going to be well respected by everybody and everybody's going to love us and everybody's going to accept what God said and everybody's it, it's like it's not happening if the Messiah the Messiah who died for all of our sins was not given the amount of respect that he deserved I know that I am not you know I I, I it's something I just feel like I accept the fact that, and I understand that everybody is not going to agree with what I said. They're going to be say, and there are going to be some people that are going to be upset. It is what it is. I don't want no smoke with God. And because I don't want no smoke with God, I'm going to say what God told me to say. I'm not uh, going to function out of a place where I'm trying to say things just so I don't step on anybody's toes and I'm not hurting anybody's feelings because that's not what I'm here concerned. I'm not concerned with that. And it's not to say I'm a mean person because I'm not. I, it's not to say that I'm just trying to attack people because I'm not. But I don't want no smoke with God. And that means I'm not going against what God said. I'm not going to receive a message from God and twist it and turn it to make it sound a certain way. I'm not going to receive a message from God and try to make it a certain way so, uh, you know, sugar-coated it and make sure that everybody like it and everybody, you know, and, and make sure ain't nobody feelings hurt. I don't want nobody feelings hurt, but in reality, this is not, I, it's not me speaking. I'm getting these mes uh, messages from God. And that's just me being real. Okay. He who keeps the law is the wise son, but the glutton's companion disgraces his father. Why? Like, why would I, how, like, you know, and I just, I just feel like, in reality, God chooses people who are going to obtain his law, who are going to uphold his law, and who are going to keep his law. And me coming on here and saying something that is completely opposite of what God's law is would be me going against God's law. And fornication is against God's law. Sorry, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Adultery is against God's law. Sorry, I'm not going to hurt your feelings. No, I am not going to come on here and tell anybody that, yes, God said you should go after that woman's husband. Mm -hmm. He's really yours, but he married her in, in a mistake. Like, no, I'm not going to say that's blasphemy. Why would I go against God's law? It's wrong. Wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. No, I'm not going to say, oh, your husband, he refuses to stop cheating on you and he refuses to stop beating you. You should stay there and you should just deal with it. Why would I say something like that? Why? Why would I say that you should just deal with being treated a certain way? Why? Why would I say that? I, like, this is... I, I, it's preposterous. It's preposterous. It's preposterous. But God is saying, those who abandon the law praise the wicked man, but those who keep the law war against him. So those like, I just feel like, you know, you we have to understand that as children of God that are upholding God's laws, there are going to be wicked people that are going to come against what we're saying. They're not going to be happy with what we're saying. Not somebody that likes to steal other people's things and likes to go around taking other people's belongings are not going to be happy with uh, anybody that points out the fact that um, theft is against God's law.
They're not going to be happy with that. Somebody that likes to fornicate and they want to be promiscuous and they want to sleep around with everybody is not going to be happy when they have to hear that fornication is a sin. Somebody that likes to cheat on their spouse and they like to defile other women and they want, and you know, a woman or a man that likes to seek after people that are married and they want to try to take somebody's spouse and they, they've had their eyes on them for a long time and they're just, you know, lusting after this person is not going to be happy when I say adultery is a sin. And I understand that. Somebody like, I, I didn't, I didn't, and there are several other skin, sins. Don't get this wrong. Like, don't get it twisted. But I, I just feel like, um, there are some people that are not going to be happy with the word of God. Some people are not going to be happy with um, hearing that gossip is a sin. Yes, yes. Going behind somebody's back and talking about them to other people and making them look a certain way that you know there are, they are not. That is trespassing against them. Yes, it is. Thou shalt not trespass against thy neighbor. But oh, 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 like, you know, it's, it, it, it feels, you know, it hurts when you are convicted and the conviction, it don't feel good, but it's meant to provoke change. If you love your wife so much, why in the world do you keep insisting on going and sleeping with other women in? Why? If you love her so much and you see it's hurting her and you see you breaking her heart and you see she's trying to hold on to you and you see she pushing hard for her marriage and you see that she is constantly praying to God, begging him to help you to stop, begging him to make you stop, begging him. But you want to get upset when God say he ain't going to stop. If you can't deal with it, you need to let him go. But that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. That is what the Bible says. That is what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. God already been said this. He said this thousands of years ago. How, how are we going to come here and, and try to change something now? Who, who do we think we are? Who will we? How? 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 Our world today is a reflection of Sodom and Gomorrah trying to come and change the laws that God already created. God created these laws years ago before we was even here. We can't come along and try to change it as we see fit. He said what he said and he mean what he said. And you know, it is not a fault to anybody else if someone cannot keep, they, they can't control their urges. It is not like, it's not that some, that someone should just have to sit there and deal with it. No, no. If you, and you know, if you love God so much and you have, when you have true love for God, it doesn't mean that the urges go away. It doesn't mean that all of a sudden, every other woman you see, they look like they don't look attractive to you anymore and you're not interested in them. It's you love God so much because God blessed you with the wife already. God blessed you with the wife already. You love your wife emotionally you love your life physic physically i mean you love your wife physically why in the world would you feel as though like oh now god is trying to give me something else when god when the bible deliberately it says that adultery is a sin this is like you know we we live in the world but we are not of the world and just because we are here does not mean we have to suck them to every uh Every, everything that is thrown our way. We have free will. We have free will and our life is full of little tests. And if you are just constantly failing every test, that's your business. But you cannot get mad if somebody that is affected by your choices decides that they don't want to deal with it no more. You cannot get upset if you're, you're the person that is Oh, like that is just significant. Like this, I, like somebody cheating on you all the time. It like that affects you. It affects your emotions. It affects how you feel about yourself, your self confidence. It affects what you think about yourself. It affects your feelings, and out it affects so much. And I know it's a lot of people that say, "Well, you're not supposed to depend on anybody to make you feel better, and you're not supposed to depend on anybody to have confidence, and you're not supposed to depend on anybody to make you happy." You're right. 
You're right. And that is why a lot of women are opting to stay single because they are happier alone than they are in a relationship. I would rather be by myself, confident in myself, happy with myself and, and full of happy joy and happiness and be completely surrounded by the Holy Spirit. OK, God and Jesus than to sit around with somebody that I know is cheating on me and refuses to stop. No, 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 no. And I know ain't nobody finna argue with me saying that than somebody that they, they cheat and they want to cheat and they not going to stop cheating and they want somebody to tell them that it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Adultery is a sin, period. Fornication is a sin, period. You can, it is against God's law to sleep with anybody that is not your spouse, period. Like, it is, this is like, this is common sense. And the very same people that will be arguing this and trying to, figure out some kind of way where they can make it where it's okay, would be upset and flames and infused and furious if the person that they want to stay with them and deal with it did it to them. They will be mad. <sighs> That's the message, y'all. That's the message. 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 And this is, this is what God said. 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 This is also what Jesus said. Yes, Jesus said that Moses changed the law because men's hearts were cold. And he also stated in that same line that the only way you can get a, a divorce is accepted by God is if the blood covenant is broken. That is adultery. If you commit adultery, you are telling God that you don't want your spouse. And not only are you telling your spouse that, because what? how are they supposed to feel if you insist on going and getting affection from somebody else and they right there? Yeah, they going to feel like you don't want them. How else are they supposed to feel? How else are they supposed to feel? And you know... <laughs> God just talked to me, spoke to me about something else that, uh, an argument that people say that, um, you, uh, self-confidence comes from within and love for thyself. It comes from within when you get married to somebody to become one. So how are you supposed to feel if a piece of you is looking at you and in disgust is looking at you and saying, nah, I don't want that. Is looking at you and saying, nah, I'm not interested in that and running after somebody else. That's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.